Hey guys and welcome to another one of my flight attendant videos. Today I'm actually going to meal prep because some of you requested me actually doing a meal prepping video and I'm going on a five day trip so I actually need to prepare some meals for a couple of days. I'm not going to prepare meals for like five days because it's just, it would go bad you know, but I'm just trying to prepare meals for like two or three days basically. So I'm going to show you what snacks I pack, I'm going to show you what meals I actually make ahead of time, I'm going to show you whatever I do in the kitchen. So basically I'm going to show you what I do and I'm just going to record the voice for it afterwards, I guess, so that you can actually listen to what I'm doing at the same time, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have all of the recipes for you there. I think I'm going to have the real recipes, like the measurements and everything in the video actually, so that you can follow those at home and that you can make my meals yourself. Enjoy. First of all, I'm going to use one onion. So I'm going to actually take the skin or the peel off of the onion. And once that's done, I'm going to dice it into little pieces. Then I'm going to use half of a zucchini or courgette and I'm just going to slice that up. And once that's done, I'm going to cut those little slices in half and then cut those in half again. Then I'm going to use three carrots. I'm just peeling them and once that's done, I'm cutting the ends off. And then I'm slicing them into little pieces, sort of like bite-sized pieces. As you can see, I just cut them into smaller pieces and then cut them again. So it's kind of like carrot sticks, I guess. Then I'm going to use three garlic cloves. I'm taking that peel or skin off of them. And then I'm using one of those garlic presses and I'm basically mincing the garlic. And I'm just putting that on top of the onion. Then I'm going to use half of a Hokkaido pumpkin. And I'm just taking all of those pumpkin seeds out of it. So I'm just using a spoon to do that. Then I'm actually cutting the pumpkin into bite-sized pieces once all of that gunk inside of the pumpkin is out of it. I'm adding everything to a heat-proof container so that I can later put it into the oven. Then I'm using four potatoes kind of like small potatoes and I'm just washing them and cutting them up and I'm actually using the skin as well because there are a lot of nutrients under the skin but you need to make sure that you wash them well if you don't peel them. I'm adding that to my container as well. Then I'm using some rapeseed oil and I'm just putting a few splashes on top of everything. I'm also using chili lime seasoning. I really like that seasoning. It's not that spicy, but it gives it a nice flavor. Then I'm using salt. I'm just putting a little bit on top of everything. And then I'm doing the same thing with pepper. You can use black pepper or even cayenne pepper if you want. And then I'm mixing everything very well with my fingers. And afterwards, we're going to put all of this into the oven. I preheated my oven at 200 degrees Celsius. That's 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Then I'm going to use some butter for the sauce. And I'm just taking a big chunk of it, that's probably like two tablespoons, I guess. And I'm melting that and then putting half of the onion inside of it. And just basically frying the onion and then I'm using flour and I'm just pouring that over it and I'm melting the flour basically. So I'm just stirring so that nothing burns on the bottom. So I'm just stirring and stirring. And once it's sort of like brownish, I guess, I'm adding milk. So just add a little bit of milk and then check the consistency and make sure that you stir it well with a whisk. And then I'm seasoning all of this with pepper and salt. You can also add some lemon if you like. And then I'm using cream fresh. I'm just adding one cream fresh package to the sauce. Once that's in there, stir it well, and then your sauce is basically done, and that's the first meal. Then I'm going to use three carrots, and I'm just cutting them into carrot sticks so that I can eat them as a snack. And I'm also bringing cream cheese. I like Philadelphia like so much, and I'm just dipping them into that, and then I eat that as snack on a plane or in my hotel room. I'm putting everything into reusable plastic bags because I don't want to throw them away all the time. And these are really nice. If I can find them online again, I bought them from Amazon. I'll show you. Then I'm boiling some water. I'm using two cups of water and one cup of rice. So that's our side dish for the second meal. I'm just pouring the rice into a cup here. And once the water comes to a boil, I'm adding the rice and then I'm stirring it so that nothing burns on the bottom. And then I'm just adding a lid and I'm cooking it for 12 minutes, like my instructions say. Then I'm heating up some rapeseed oil in a frying pan. And I'm adding the other half of the onion and the garlic. I'm just basically frying that for a little bit. And then I'm adding half a pound or 200 grams of ground beef. Meanwhile, I'm also cooking two cups of broccoli. I'm using frozen broccoli, but you can use fresh as well. So the second meal is done. My roasted vegetables are done after about 30 minutes in the oven, and I'm just adding them to some food containers. So I'm just putting everything in there, and I'm using a huge one there. So that's probably gonna be like two meals and not just one. And once I'm done with that, I'm actually going to add the white sauce that I made. I'm just putting that or pouring that on top of it. And then I'm going to mix everything up. Make sure that your containers are actually not spilling anything. Mine are pretty much like liquid proof, I guess. Then I'm going to prepare the second meals. So I'm adding some cooked rice to two other containers. Then I'm adding the ground beef and I actually seasoned it with maple juice, soy sauce and Lemon, it's really good, but you can season it with anything you want. I'm just adding broccoli to this and then those meals are done and you can eat them hot or cold. They're good either way. Here you can see all of my meals. Basically, I've got two containers with the beef meal, one container, a huge one with the vegetables. Then I've got some carrot sticks with Philadelphia, like cream cheese. And I've got two more meals that I'll just eat like that. So meal prepping is actually done. So I'm taking three meals with me. I've got like two of those 
rice bowls with me with like ground beef and broccoli and then I've got a big container with roasted veggies and white sauce with me it's probably gonna be too much for like eating it at once so it's probably gonna be two meals so I'm actually taking four meals with me and then I'm also gonna take some carrot sticks and some cream cheese for snacks and obviously I'm gonna bring some protein bars for breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different from what I usually post here on my channel, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this one. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Also make sure that you click on the little bell icon below because otherwise YouTube is not gonna notify you whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon in the new flight attendant vlog. Bye bye.